Hello everyone, welcome back to more Night in the Woods. This is me, Ruby, or you can call me Ruby Beast, whichever we're. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right in, so... Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Ugh. I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. We're gonna look in the mirror. Looking alright. <laughs> There you go. I'm gonna go with the shirt. God, this shirt really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? I think the round zero doesn't help. Wait, who am I talking to? I think the round zero doesn't help. Cool, dude. Round is okay. I need to stop eating literally. I need to stop eating literally everything I see. Ugh. Don't do this to yourself, May. Not tonight. Tomorrow you'll do lots of sit-ups. And then learn to like horrible things like kale. And everything will be great. You can do this. People like you. You don't like people, clearly. Just because that online test said that your best chance at being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, that they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you, that doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, May. And they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. All right, what are you going to say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. And now I'm in the woods, drinking. Jeez, this is yet another road to hermit dumb. <laughs> this is hopeless. Pull me out to the curb for garbage day. Oh jeez, I'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. I'm about to say, it's like Assassin's Creed quote there. I make my own luck. The party. Because the party is where it's at. Hey, May. I think Cole might be there tonight. What? Oh my god. Who's Cole? Um, you remember him. He was in your book with us. Oh, Cole. Yeah, I remember him. May and him were a thing for a while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. <laughs> yeah, you are, dude. Well, that's settled then. <laughs> Greg is such a good friend. Ugh. That was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. Yeah, she's gonna say the same thing. Okay, let's go see what she's up to. What? Nothing. Cool party. Yep. Who you talking to? Not you. Okay, I'm gonna go over here now. Oh god, it's... Is, is it Cole? Can I not talk to him right now? Hey dudes! Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh god. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. You sure, May? Yeah, I mean, why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go Get Dead Angel Face? Uh, we don't talk about Go Get Dead Angel Face. Can you guys believe this rude playing, this dude playing guitar? Yep, 
playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? Nah, don't worry, big guy. Hmm. There's a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? <laughs> this is leave. Oh no, I'm walled off. Okay, here we go. Gonna talk to cool Cole. Oh god, it's... Maybe I need another drink. <laughs> Gonna get some more drink first. Uh, I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. Okay, maybe I had, an, had enough to talk to him. Hey! May? Is that you? Wow, how are you? Well, earlier this week I dropped out of school. And now I'm drinking in the woods. Wow, okay. What the hell is your problem? What? Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. No, she's gonna get even more drunk. Oh no. Screw it, I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Okay. What? Nothing? Uh, I don't know if I could do this. Hey, bae. Yeah? Oh god, you're drunk already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really, I have to drive. And even if I didn't, well, I don't have my license. So woohoo for me. Hey bae. What? Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh god. May, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm gonna go run around naked in the woods. Go sit now. Okay. We'll go sit down. Can I talk to Greg and them first? Hey, Greg. Whoa, dude, are you okay? Hey, Greg, did you know I think you and Angie? Angie? are so cute. I didn't know that, dude. Well, good. Hey, Angie. My dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang out at the bar with your daddy. Dude, don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? My dad had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mom. <laughs> Dude. Okay, May, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. Well, I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. Dude, sit down by the fire and chill, okay? All right, everyone's getting angry at me. And I'm getting... Oh, oh, he's coming over. Hey, May. Hey, Coolio. Wow, never heard that in forever. It's been like three years. It's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and... Shut up already. What? The girl at the video store is all like, Woo woo, cute boys. And you're cute boy, Cole. Oh, thanks mate, I... But I hate cute people. Cute is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. It is not my fault I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing that you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, 
Dab. Boom. Dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. Okay, mate, you're threatening people now. I'm gonna get in shape and kick all asses. I'm gonna eat everyone, everyone I see. May, I think you need to F college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people, all writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. It's supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I, I'm a total trash mammal and nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again, and I can't do something besides sleep and cry alone. Ugh. Because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god, I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Coolio? May, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again! Woohoo! Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> well, she embarrassed herself. If you poke in the car, so help me. I owe you an apology, Bay. I'm sorry, I don't even know what happened. You got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? Remember when we used to be best friends? We used to be best friends, Bay, and I still. You be. I didn't get a word of that. Remember you used to call me Mayday? And I called you B. B. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember we were scouts together? And we cut that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle, he died. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why so mad at me all the time? <laughs> oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. What? She died. Of cancer. Senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. Baby, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? I'm mortified by my behavior. I'm sorry. Oh, but I'm acting like a jerk. Are you mad at me? What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? <laughs> I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh god, let me help you in. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for B. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. <sighs> Good night, Mayday. Aww. Said that she still cared. Oh, what am I doing? I got a bat, I can swing. Well, 
Why am I running through the woods with a bat? Nice, broke one. Yeah, get rid of this car. Dirk. Dirkelsberg. Did they go to Dirkelsberg and do. wreak havoc? May, what are you doing? Why? Must destroy. Oh, does that have to say something? And that says, you kill her. Or maybe I should have done it the opposite way. There we go. A bird. Another car. I think I just have to destroy the windows in order to make the cars deflate. Statue? Oh. I'm destroying the statue. That's scary, it almost landed on me. I killed the bird. I win. I'm a beast. Part 2, Weird Autumn. Actually, I think that's... I wonder if that's the name of the song I like to play. I know there's one song I really enjoy. It might be Weird Autumn. Or something to that effect. Oh, up we are. What a crazy dream I had. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm going to burn this room down with me in it. I live out my running days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Thought never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah, dumb shit. Everything feels bad. Hangover. Oh, good. I was right. I look like utter hell. Burn it. <laughs> Afternoon, us. What's up, bird? This bookshelf is like the ghost of Grandad, hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Ugh. Okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like 
Something written inside the book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like... What is this? Thought. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought. Come back to life, granddad. Oh yeah! Let's see. Where is it? Oh, yeah, here it is. The floating island and other stories. Granddad didn't read out didn't read out of this. He like recited it from memory and made stuff up on top of that. To get me to sleep when I was a kid. Miss you, dude. Oh, there's another. The floating island. Jeez, I'm old. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hey, hun. You look like crap. Yep. Rough night? Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of the town center. Finally? Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines? Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used use the word fried. Now she can't use uh, adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and Bay are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No. God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. F the cops. <laughs> Gonna walk in the power lines, and we are. I think now I can finally reach uh, some new areas. We can go to the church, too. Oh, is the power line's to the right, though. I didn't check to see the construction over there. Yeah, we'll go. We'll come back. We're gonna go check the structure on this. I don't know if they finished on that side. It's like a perfect time for me to play this game. It is raining quite hard where I'm at while I play this. Uh, yeah. See, they're not done over here yet. They're only done on the left side. Hey, May. Hey, Summers. Did I see you with the journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the hand panther pharmacy. Oh jeez. 
So Dr. Hank sees the journal as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Yeah. My heart is a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. Mr. Chaskovic's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Ta-da! It's Summers, a poet. <laughs> that was a good picture of her. I like that. Oh, wrong button. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're gonna have to pick which part of him you're gonna sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. I gotta get to him, though. How does he get up there? Yeah! Qua! But. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars. Dust Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is the music of looking at shoes? With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Wanna have a look? Yeah. Excellent. I did enjoy this. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you wanna put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright. Make you blind. I didn't think to mention- You didn't think to mention this? I just did. Okay, so we're looking for some stairs. Oh. Oh, there it was. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. <laughs> ah, yes. Castus. What's a castus? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? I don't... Oh, I don't know. The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No to all of them. This is fair. Oh, is there more? I can't go that far. Hmm, having trouble finding another one. There's Castus. Ah, there we go. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Found one. Let me have a look. Ah, yes, Door the Murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Door passed Burn, the king's procession on the street. The door was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Burn insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on. Until it was down to insulting Dor's chickens. <laughs> chickens are kind of awful. 
weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. They peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. Dor first murdered Burns' chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap! And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm gonna go get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? I don't know. Totally. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. Alright, so they only had two stars today. That's some neat backstory. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazovic. Rochazikov. <laughs> Let's see. Door and Castus. Alright, so we got to look around there. That was really neat. I like those star stories. I don't think I've seen them all, but from the ones I have seen, they've been really great. Okay, we're going to avoid that just for a moment, because I want to see if I can get up on these power lines. I can. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. wonder what's going on up there. We'll check in a minute. I wanted to get up here. Oh, can I not get up on that stuff right there? Guess not. <laughs> Being yelled at. Oh, look at that doggo. Hello doggo. Oh, there he goes. That was a cute doggo. Let's go all the way left before we turn around. Nuke Possum Springs. Hello, greetings. Your mom. <laughs> Goat Lung. Hey. I don't know if I can get up there. I don't know which ones I can get up to right now. Yeah, I can't get up there. But we can get right here. Where's my hand? Just open up that window so we can go in. Oh, can we not go in? I think I might have pressed the wrong button. Let's try that again. And then I have to, there we go. You have to click on the open spot. Open space, rather. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blooming, Bloomingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they cancelled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallet deserves a better memorial. <laughs> Guess Mallet was their town mascot. Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Mallard P. Blooming Grow. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still... 
amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. Oh, there's so much more to say. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Mallard, you're pregnant! It's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because of God. Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're uh, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. <laughs> so cute. Miracle rats. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously. Is this thing... Is this thing a, is clearly marked as something it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat. With my boot. Oh, more to say. Worst exit, easily. Alright, let's go get those baby rats some food. down there, not up here. Oh, I'm just everywhere. I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Many miners, old and young, with home and heart and coal and lung, were taken by the trolley men, up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes whole urm. Orm? Please stop listening. Honey, I'm horm. <laughs> oh, we'll talk to the lady first. Oh, hello. Hey, it's me. I remember, old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about Granddad? Well, I'll only say it if you really want to know. <laughs> yes, I do want to know. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. Oh, your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough you got folks that were around for the real hard times. When the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. I have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. Nah, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. <sighs> Looking. I'm so quiet, that hand is so shaky.
I am the Bandit Queen. Alright, they didn't spot me. Somehow. Somehow he did not spot me, stealing <laughs> the pretzel despite holding it in front of his face. Okay, let's go feed them baby rats. I wish it was a bit easier to get up there though. Alright, my little miracle rats. Oh, look at them. Time to eat. There they go. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Alright, so we fed the miracle rats, so we gotta make sure to feed them whenever we can. I don't know what happens if you kept them keep them fed or whatever, but, you know, I want to try to do it right the first time. Oh, we got some talks here. You gonna run out and do this on your own beak? Shh. I think I'm gonna tell Nancy I'm sick. I can puke on command. Well, that's one way to do it. I got a change of clothes in the car. In case you puke on your regular clothes? No, I just want to look good for the interview. Good idea. I mean, it's Ham Panther. It ain't an art gallery in Paris. But I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. Coffee. Cigarette. Coffee. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We fed our rats, we talked to some of them, and I guess we're making our way over to Greg, I'd imagine, or Bay Store, one of the two. But we're going to do that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.